All right, hello Year 8. This is your homework for this spring half term. You're going to be looking at natural forms and plants, and we're going to use uh, a transfer technique to create our drawing. What you'll need for this, and you should hopefully have this in the uh, wallet you were given by your teacher, is a pencil, uh, black oil pastel, you should have a photocopy, and you should have some plain paper. Now, it would have been a good idea if your teacher remembered to give you some masking tape as well at the end of the lesson, just to tape these two together. If they haven't done, uh, you can just use sellotape or any other tape you've got at home, because what you don't want to happen is you don't want this to start moving around once you've start, started to put it on here to create your transfer drawing. Okay? Right, with the black oil pastel, and I've put some black paper down, you can use newspaper, anything else that you've got that's going to protect the surface you're working on. You're going to use the black oil pastel to coat the back of the image. Now, when you're putting this on, it needs to be done in an even way. Okay, so we don't want white gaps, we don't want it scribbled, so we don't want to see that kind of thing, um, or even sort of a good patch and then a weaker patch and then a good patch. You need to make sure that it's even across the whole back of the paper. And we're going up to the edge as well because our photograph on the other side doesn't have much of a margin. So we're going to take it up to the edge, which again, this is why I've said to put something behind your piece of paper, like a piece of newspaper, whilst you're doing this job. If it snaps, don't worry about it. Right, now you should be able to see that I'm getting a dense black across the back of my paper. And as I said, that needs to go all the way to the edge. And you need to coat the whole back of that piece of paper. Right, so you should end up with something that looks like this. Okay, so that's completely coated. We are then ready to just attach that to our piece of paper. So what you need to do then, take a cartridge paper, put the image on it the right way up. I'm going to use a little bit of masking tape. You may well have a piece from your teacher, or you can use cellar tape, as I said, or any other tape that you might have that's going to do the same job. I'm going to look for somewhere where there isn't a great deal of detail going on. So I'm just going to go up to this top corner. And I'm just going to put it on less than a centimetre over there. Bend it over. And then just stick it down on the back. And all that will do is hold that in place now. So that as I'm working, if I was to leave this, come back to it a few days later, or do a bit on the weekend, this isn't going to move, okay? It's going to stay in the same place. Right. When you're drawing, you'll draw through this image onto the cartridge paper underneath. Now, it's a good idea to have a sharp pencil whilst you're doing this because it's going to pick out the detail much better if you're using a sharp pencil. But also, what this technique will allow you to do is not just put in the lines, it will allow you to create tone. And just the same way as using the pencil normally, the harder you press, the darker the tone it's going to create underneath. Now obviously if I press relatively hard there, it's going to go very dark on the back. So you have to judge it slightly lighter than if you're just using a pencil because the oil pastel will transfer quite dark onto the back with a medium pressure. So if you just want a light tone, and you can experiment with this, so try going on very light first, and if that's not working, just apply a little bit more pressure. But don't go straight in, pressing down really hard with the pencil, because everything's just going to come out black on the back. Now if you're doing a good job, you should be able to see 
in the drawing on the back that we have got paler tones, we've got our mid tones and the dark tones building up as you create this drawing. Right, you're eight, you have got several weeks to complete this work, which is why I've said it's a good idea to make sure that they are taped together so that they stay in the same place each time. Enjoy doing it. Uh, make sure that you submit a copy to your teacher on class charts so that they can mark that off uh, with a green to say that you've done your homework and then please bring the actual original piece of work in for your teacher to put in your sketchbook. Okay, thank you.